I would just like to point out how ridiculous the setup is. My camera is worse than Kitty Cam right now because Kitty Cam is actually using my real camera. Good kitten internet. I um let's no. Let's get back into Wild Arms, I suppose. It's a little on the loud side. For me. Not necessarily for you. How are you? Uh, my previous um, Let's Analyze video is just uploading as I'm speaking, so... Hopefully people liked it. I don't know, it feel, felt a little dry to me after looking through things. Also, I should get something other than Emma. Let's get something other than Emma while we're waiting for things. Oh yeah, need to hit OK because otherwise it will get copyright flagged, as I found out. So let's go with the Muriel one. I guess I like Muriel. Um, have I already done that one? So I have three Muriel pictures that I have saved. I'm pretty sure I've done all three at this point. We'll go with this one and expand, embiggen, drink a little. There we go. So, where we last left off, I believe I did a crap ton of arena battles, because yay, arena. Also, let's move the window closer to me. And I am poor. I am very poor. Let's go to a dungeon. So, I could have done this earlier, and I thought I needed both stages of Proto Wing to do it. Oops. But apparently not. So, right here. Yeah, so I thought this was completely surrounded by mountains. It's not. There's ocean over here. Anyway, this is where we need to go to finish up Cecilia. And what I mean by finishing up Cecilia is to finally give her all of her abilities. Once we're done with this dungeon, she will no longer need any ability. Okay, I can't get around. I was just double checking. Um, no longer need any ability. That is to say, the outside of Mystic, which I will... I don't even know if it's worth doing a full-on Let's Analyze on Mystic, but... Um, um, she basically has everything at this point. Heck, she even has her final Guardian form. This is the Heaven's Corridor, a tower of gifts to those who wish to attain a higher magic from the Mage D. So, a little bit of backstory, because... Most likely you've forgotten. Um, D was mentioned earlier. D is the great mage that sequestered themselves from society because... Reasons? Because forbidden magic. Anyway, um, we learned about D way back in Kirin Abbey. And by the way, there is nothing that tells you you need to go here. This is purely side quest. And it requires both the duplicator and the teardrop. Admittedly, you can't get here without the teardropper cheating, but whatever. So this lets you jump back. I don't remember what type of enemies are here, but we're now slightly higher level than normal, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't even know if there's... I'm pretty sure there are. To the Inheritor of Wisdom. Do you want to read it? Why do you seek higher magic? If you want to bring light to the world, then go to the hidden nature of the obscured place. There the innocent must cast its light. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I was reading it out loud and not thinking about it. Um, go to the hidden nature of the obscured place. That almost sounds like a mistranslation. There are random encounters here, good. And yes, I delayed in responding. These are easy encounters. Like, 10 levels ago, easy. Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah. I thought I remembered finishing off Cosmic Zap. Is it Cosmic Zap? Cosmic Nova and Phaser Zap. Herp derp. Oh, um, am I still equipped for... Yeah, no, okay. Oh, that's right, we actually did something after the arena. We did a dungeon to get the Gemini circuit. I remember now. Anyway, let's... Oops. I don't have this selected. 
Yeah, Cecilia's nearly able to one-shot these. So many duplicators required for this place. Crest Graph? Crest Graph. Which I think we also had a Crest Graph. So... We're gonna need to go back and fill some Crest Graphs. But I think we were almost done with everything we cared about, I wanna say? Oh well. You know what? Yeah, I don't care if you high shield. The only danger they have is that they can make me fall asleep. And yes, I did remember. Also, Cecilia's boogieing again. Yeah, I see you sitting there. Oh, actually. Okay. The doors are shut. Here I need to teardrop. I I vaguely remember the dungeon, basically. I remember. Hmm, let me double check things really fast. This is one of those dungeons where there's not really any hints given at all. So I don't necessarily remember things very well. You orid. That was dumb. No, do not quit, please. That would be annoying. It wouldn't suck. It would just be annoying. So what it is is that I need to look in one of these vases. Not? A gnome? I don't remember gnomes. Gnomes have anything I care about? Uh, sorry, I have browsers all over the place right now. Oh, I finished uploading. Sweet. Um, trickster list, gnome. A very strange looking gnome. Rune staff. I don't remember if that's one that I have or not. I might as well trickster. Easy way to find out, I guess. Yes, I have a rune staff. Okay, I don't care. And what did they have for actual drop? Gnomes have nectar. Okay, I actually care about that. Prison, and we're just going to have you bazooka them. Honestly, you might not have even needed that. Oh well. Prison? Get in that prison! I just didn't want to have to deal with being sleepy. Yeah, that was overkill. Oh well. Defend. Lucky shot. Defend. Give me that nectar. So I don't think I can ever buy... No, I definitely can't buy nectar. That's right, because I can already buy everything in the game at this point. There's the button. That's what the book was telling you to do. It's just... It was kind of vague 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just sleepy. Uh, let's see. You can mention in the previous video, but Boo had a trip to the vet today. Regular trip, just check up, not anything. Check up in vaccines. Garums? Really? Garums. Aren't they in, like, St. Centaur, even? Garum. Flame ring. I mean, I guess I can use another flame ring? It's not really something I was aiming for, but that's okay. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Tricks just down to 1 MP anyway. Um... You know what? That's fine. I wonder if my chance of stealing things goes up as the higher level I am. It doesn't seem that way, but it's just one of those I don't know. A lot of things I don't know about this game. Okay. Oop. And I get teleported back to the beginning. You mean, you see what I mean by this is one of those dungeons? I hate these types of dungeons. This is like beyond the beyond type of garbage. Come on. I think if I just hug the wall, I'm fine. Pandemonium, do you want to read it? There's an ancient demon castle located on the east end of the inner sea. The smell of a thousand year old evil still lingers on the desolate isle. Magic of the warning, do you want to read it? You could ward off unwanted guests by using magic that sends them back to the entrance. You seek this higher magic. You should undo this warding gate. Wait, undo? I didn't think there was an undo. Do not trust. More nectar. Sweet. More duplicators required! Do you see why I duplicated the duplicators at this point? I do not recognize Kame. I mean, I recognize in so much as that's definitely a palette swap of an earlier enemy. Kame. Windring. Hmm, they're fast. They're actually fairly strong, too. Was it just, like, the front ones that are different enemies? And I also grabbed the Windring. Nice. Okay, these are actually, I don't want to call them difficult enemies, but correct enemies? I guess I'll scan them. Um, Trickster, the other one. Analyze. And, I don't know. Keep forgetting, oh, that's right, I have no money. That's the reason why I didn't increase that. And just punch. That one's probably dead after this anyway. Trick store. No windring this time. Yeah, that's not very strong. You're dead. That's fine. How many hit points do you actually have, Kane? Level 44, 2,000 hit points, weak against her. That noise. And you're dead. I guess it's only one ring. Wind ring. That's fine. I love how I'm using a totally awesome, like, multi-hundred dollar camera on a still recording of Maya. But you can tell from the frame rate difference that, yeah, that's a much better camera. So I'm actually thinking about switching that camera over to here for things that I'm playing on my computer. I'm using this camera also for um, role-playing purposes. So, more crest graph. Can't get there from here. This looks like the type of place I need to walk around a bit. Okay. So, I need to trap this thing to grab it. That's the way these puzzles work.
Nope. Okay. I'm trying to remember. There we go. Like, I know there was something dealing with that. Did I accidentally go the correct direction? It's fine. Alright, so... That... There we go. Puzzle dungeons are fine. It's the hidden things that bother me. Okay. Okay, that's not it. I think I might need to go to that other side. If it wasn't painfully obvious, I'm doing this without a guide. Okay, I know what I need to do. What I need to do is basically get the crystal stuck on that while I'm one tile north. Or the mirror image of this. So to do that... Yeah, I think it needs to be the other way around. Like that. There we go. Just had to think about it. Yeah, I accidentally went the right way. That's fine, I can backtrack. Your job? Teardrop. Teardrop. Okay, need to do something else first, I'm guessing. I guess I'm gonna backtrack. Like, now. Which is fine, it's easy to get through these faster. Er, the other direction. Wrong direction. I could have also skated now that I think about it, because skate will go through that. So, like... That. Oh no, bounce back wouldn't have worked. Got it. That's why I couldn't skate. Okay. <sighs> I am 18 minutes in. I have done basically nothing. Orkwoods. Nova. You're still alive. Uh, high blast. And if you're still alive from there, cry. Pretty sure they're dead from the Nova. Yeah. I'm getting potion berries. Of course I can buy them. This is just a save point. Hmm. What did I miss? Oh, right. Derp. Uh, this dungeon. dungeon. Are you kidding me? Okay. Now you're really pissing me off, dungeon. The enemies aren't even hard. They wouldn't have been hard if I was here at the correct level, never mind overleveled. And I'm not even overleveled by much. It's, this wall is the safe wall, apparently. I remembered going on the left side there before. I remember hitting the fast forward button to go through random combat faster. Well, I mean, games are, you know. I don't call them dangerous, because that would be incorrect. They're things I have to care about. How about that?
You're dead. You're dead. No, you're not. Okay. I should figure out the trickster damage, because it's obviously something weird, given that Cecilia just did more damage. Okay. Hug walls. Got it. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I mean, it's sad that I'm the one saying that, given my love of wild of Beyond the Beyond, but come on! There's no reason to do crap like that in this dungeon. It's here that I need a teardrop, is what it is. Finally, my successor has arrived. -dum -bum -bum. Many trials have proven your worth. What, in frustration? Because, oh boys, if your trial's been frustrating. You shall receive the art of the ultimate sorcery. I must warn you, do not drown yourself in this power. For the essence of sorcery is not the size or the effect of the spell, but in the utilization of wisdom. You must purify your magic through wisdom. My successor, you shall master the elements through purity and execution. Dual cast force acquired. And Cecilia is trying to look all coquettish. That's it. That's the entire dungeon. There's nothing else here. We are seriously done. What the heck? So, what this does is interesting. Because it's not obvious. And I'll demonstrate with a random combat. Unfortunately, I need the force unit. Um, trying to think of what else I have left that I can do. Can't do Temple of Illusion. Oh, I'm gonna pause this because my grandparents are calling. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, my grandfather's been in the hospital for a couple of weeks now, so I wanted to make sure I had any updates from that. Okay, um, so we probably need to start looking at progressing plot again. Uh, I wanna. Lots in four letter word. The reason why we need to start looking at it. I mean, so we can do some other option. You know what? Let's do some more optional content. I don't know if I'm even strong enough to take on some of these. Um. So let's save before I do anything else. Unfortunately, I still don't have all that much money. Oh, right, I have some crust crafts I need to use. Let's do that first. Do I even have anything left in advance? No. <coughs> oh, wow, I'm nearly done with everything. Okay. Just seeing what I have left. So little left. I think I'm just going to finish up all of the white magic and then look at some black magic for leftovers. I mean, really, I don't need most of this. But um, with a dual cast, we're actually going to need to start using simple magic again for a bit. And once we actually do so, it'll make sense. Just done done me that if I'm going after optional bosses, I'm probably not going to use much in the way of dual magic. Okay. And one more over here. I think Valkyrie is probably going to be the best option I have here. 
So at least in theory, that spell is not useless. Okay. Got those. Um... You know what? Let's actually teleport or fly over. No, we'll teleport over to. Um. Loma Village to hit the. Hidden Guild. Or Isolated Guild, sorry. Drink the potion so I don't reset my luck. And then I'll save back in Adelaide again. And we will continue. Still green. Okay. I'm actually just gonna fly back to Adelaide. I don't even need to go to Adelaide now that I think about it, but that's the easiest spot for me to go to since I remember where everything's at in that city. That's fine, I can just reload after I save. So, Phaser is capable of going to a really high hit percentage, if I remember right. Which means I'll actually be able to use this out of combat, or out of um, having to lock on. Like, it's already up to 91%. Yeah, I can't afford any more upgrade. Yes, yes, in? He was actually up here while I was on the phone with my grandparents. Or, on the phone with my grandmother. There's a reasonable chance I won't be able to talk to my grandfather ever again. So that's a fun thing. Ah, <sighs> this week can go die in a fire. So! We are going up to that peninsula that I had talked about in the previous um, real video, not Let's Analyze. So here. Yeah, about there. can't actually land there. Okay. So, we are trying to trigger a random encounter. It is very random as to where in this place it's going to be at. And it's not going to be a random encounter like that, although there may be some enemies that we might want to fight in here. Also, let's... Uh, Shellzorus. So, it's a Shellosaurus, I guess. Uh, what do you have? Because this is where all sorts of weird random enemies are. Bellosaurus. You have Ambrosia? Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna take that from you, presume. It's both a steal and a drop. So, okay. Well, there's one. Can I imprison you as well? No. No, I can't. You don't hit that hard, though. Let's analyze to figure out how many hit points you have. Well, you're probably not going to live for too much longer, but a lot of the enemies around here have abnormally large amounts of hit points. Level 20, you have 35 hit points left. Never mind, you're dead. That would have been the perfect time to lucky shot. Oh well. That's fine. We got one Ambrosia, and that's still pretty good.
So it is always in the desert, but it could be anywhere in the desert is what I'm looking for. Another Shalosaurus. Trickster. You know what? We might as well keep trying to imprison. It might just be that it didn't work. Or it might be an into it. I don't know. But it's still. Empty prison. I'm gonna go with it's probably an into prison. Punch, lucky shot. Oh yeah, it's actually going to have more hit points this time, so it's probably not going to get lucky shot into death. Next lucky shot would work. Disease, eh? That didn't even work. Lucky shot. Good. Yep, and done. And of course I condition green at that point. there's an FAQ for dual casting guide. Uh, no. There is a spell FAQ. That doesn't even mention dual casting. Good job! Okay. There's where I'm looking for. And still, encounter. Bat. Oh, it's one of the golems that we took. Or that the demons took. Okay. Barbados, do you have anything? I don't think it does, but I want to double check. It does, but it's not very good. But it's going to drop what I'm looking for. But I really just need to defeat him. Fang. I don't remember if Barbarios has a weakness, so I'm gonna. Uh, let's be honest. I'm gonna high shield. <laughs> this is a boss battle, regardless of the music. Phaser. Linear Rail Cannon! Boss battle. You see what I mean? And this is why I needed to get High Shield up. Jack should be able to accelerate her um, in her field, so I'm not too concerned. Ooh, you have a lot of defense. You are... I might be in trouble. Did I miss Ambrosia at the top? Yes, I did. I shield again. And... Phaser. What is it, soon? Yep. Uh, TPK. Herc. Well, I guess I'm reloading. This is why I saved in Adelaide. Unfortunately, I saved before upgrading arms, not after. I forgot what fighting these bosses were like. Uh, oh well. That's fine. So. If I am going to fight them... You know what? I don't care as much about Phaser. Let's just reload and then head out. Hey, Soon, tell me what's wrong. He's been crying a lot lately. Too far. There's a lot of interesting random enemies in this dungeon. Or dungeon. Desert. Desert. Like, for instance, those are Mexquitos, right? Oh, no, Beelzebub. Mexquito is their other version. Beelzebub has hate self. Really? 
Needs off. Needs off. Never. Just try to hype you up with the interesting enemies that you have, and you give me the worst one of them. I... Please give me, like, a Dello Bunny or something. You're not a Dello Bunny. Just trying to think of the easiest way to get to uh, Lucky Shot range. I think punching it in the face is going to be the easiest way. Power for Blow! For 98. Okay. So confused. I should have punched it in the face again with Cecilia now, I think about it. Mm, well, I guess that's still punching in the face with Cecilia. And dead. Dang it. Oh well. It's fine. I don't need that many Ambrosias. So I am down two Ambrosias compared to what I had the previous save. I... You know what? I think I'll save state the next time it triggers. That way I can just reload from there. Vampires and Cybergeists. Or Cybergeist Singular. Really? These are really early. This was in the ghost ship. Why? Are you just giving me any potentially random encounter? I'm just gonna let you go. Because I don't care. Well, this might take a while. And then there's an Armor Drake. Uh, Armor Drakes were an earlier enemy, weren't they? No, this is actually belongs here. Okay. Actually, I don't want armor down yet. I want you to stay beefy. I'm hoping this does next to no damage, because then I can keep trickstering. Until I get what I want. Nope. It doesn't matter what I'm saying. Why are you called Armor Drake then? You have 4,000 hit points. Okay. Maybe that's why you're called Armor Drake. Purple Electric. Revised! Eh. A little painful. Not that bad. Trickster. Defend, defend. Paralysis! I guess I should have a status lock up. Hmm. Trickster. Too far. Box state. Okay. Trickster! Please just take the item. Uh, and this isn't necessarily something I'd be trying to pursue. It's a hearty apple. So, I mean, three stats are always nice, but. Hmm. I'm going to be able to use dual cast next turn. Nice. Paralysis, which won't work because I still have locked state up. You are also condition green, and Cecilia is the one that actually has the force unit equipped. Okay. Cool. Trickster. Alright. Dual cast. 
but what dual cast allows you to do is cast two spells at once. This doesn't sound that useful given that it's force level four, except for one thing. I mean, there's no way in hell it's gonna survive this, but if it does, I'll also show you Rudy's Fury Shot. So, Trickster first. Watch Trickster kill it. Nope, okay. Oh, what's the other way around? It might have been the other way around. Dang it. Must have been the other way around. Um, so you notice that the lock-on was red this time. And you notice that did a heck of a lot more damage than it should have. I need to get back used to dual cast again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to save state at this point. Where the heck's my mouse? There it is. Save state. Just so I don't have to reload. Okay, first off, you're going to Divide Shot. You're going to Aura because it goes before me. And Rudy, Punch. Geostorm! Maybe it's weak against... Ow! Why do I have Aura up? Although I don't have Necronomicon equipped, do I? Nope. I'm not healing as much as I'm taking the damage. That's not good. Fine. Bang. Mystic Potion. Oh, let's actually equip the dang Necronomicon. You know what? Screw it. I can't equip the Necronomicon on anyone else? I just swear I could. Maybe that's Wild Arms 2 that I can do that. Well, that changes things a bit. Okay. Fang. Mystic Potion Berry is only a thousand. That's not enough. I'd have to Mystic Mega Berry. Can I Mystic Nectar? No. You know what? Ambrosia. Screw it. I always get more. Let's get up a high shield so I don't take painful amounts of damage. Lock on. Rocket Launcher. Landmaster? Well, Cecilia lived, it's fine. So that's Ambrosia. Full heal. Wait, that was all supposed to be MP, wasn't it? Hmm. Maybe my theory was wrong that I had my last one saying was. Okay. Fang. Aura. Punch in the face. Acid Missile! That didn't really do much in the way of damage. That must be doing poison or something like that. And I have high enough vitality where poison doesn't seem to happen as much anymore. So I think that's what it's based off of, is the vitality check. Bang! Okay, let's see if that theory is right. So I'm going to switch you to a Wind Ring, which I have two of now that I've noticed. So I'm actually going to switch Rudy to one as well. Let's see if my theory is right. At that point, I'm going to Phaser Zap instead. Um, let's go ahead and High Guardian, because they're going to attack next turn. And lock on Rocket Launcher. Geo Storm, which will do crap tons of damage to everybody. Zap with 
wind? Ooh, that looks pretty. Yep, that did damage. Aftina. It should heal everybody back up the full. Yep, and do damage. Good. Back to fan. No, you're just gonna phaser zap. Um, I'm going to slow down. Lock on rocket launcher. Linear rail cannon. Boom. Well, I'm glad I have high shield up, but that's not enough. Yeah, I'm doing a decent amount of damage with that. Well, okay, you're slower. That's good. Um, Jack has enough force points to throw out another Umbrosia, because I'm going to have Cecilia attack this time. Accelerate. Ambrosia. So again, I can collect them here, so I'm not concerned about using these items anymore. Uh, Cecilia, you're going to... High Vortex. Yeah. And Rudy, you're going to rocket launch to the face. I know this is a shock to everyone. Let's see. High Vortex. Okay, yeah, it's much slower now. Good. How much damage do you actually do, Cecilia, right now? A lot. Okay. Good to know. And wow, slowing down helped a lot. Hello, Asin. Landmaster. Punch Jack in the face for less than half of his maximum hit points, which means he can heal himself. Uh, Cecilia, you're going to be on high vortex duty for a while. Pretty punch. Okay, so that will full heal Jack. My Vortex will do lots of damage. Yeah, that dealt 7,000 damage. That dealt 916. Acid Missile, which did next to nothing. Uh, that's not even enough for me to care. I don't have his fourth one yet. Ah, uh, right, I remember where that's at. Um, you're going to Sonic Vision. You're gonna... High Vortex, or...? Yeah, let's High Vortex. Rudy, you're gonna lock on Rocket Launcher. Yep. Arc. position the camera a little bit. There. 8,000 XP, 3890 Gela, and Disdims Acquired. Disdims is the best weapon in the game for Cecilia. I actually don't know what it does for Mystic off the top of my head. I'm going to keep it unequipped for the time being. Actually, I'm going to equip the Lunar Rod for the time being. Because both Lunatic Wand and Dis Dims, I actually don't know what they do. I'm guessing Lunatic Wand is going to be a um, confusion attack. Uh, let's teleport to Noama and heal. And we're going to save. Back to the isolated guild and heal. Then reload rockets and save. Of course, I want to try your potion. Your potions are awesome. Uh, how am I doing on luck? Fine. I really don't know what causes luck to re-randomize uh, re slash drop other than sleep. There's got to be something because I've definitely left combats and being unlucky. I don't know what. Oops. 
No, I'm not gonna be able to land on top of Adelaide Castle. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go dump some money into Rudy's phaser and then reload ammo, then save. How am I doing on time? 50 minutes. See what I mean by you can increase that a lot more than you would expect. Also, ATP increases are fairly efficient. Yep, we're gonna be very poor this time. So it's already almost better than the bazooka's attack. But its hit bonus is way better than everything else other than Prism Ray. And Prism Ray remaxed out. Well, maxed out the hit percentage on, I should say. Okay, let's reload ammo, which I barely have enough money for, I think. Hope I have enough money for it. Yep. I have 12 Gela. 12. Alright, I'm trying to move the camera so you can see his hint's cuteness. Okay. Um, uh, what else can I find? Fight. What do I even have left that, like, optional enemy that I can even fight at the moment? Those are pandemonium. bosses. Already fought that one. Can't fight that one. Yep, I need more money for that one. Barbados is the one that we just fought, which, hilariously enough, the guide that I'm looking at says that we should be level 55 plus. Yep. I'm totally level 55 plus, let me tell you. Uh, let's see, but we can't touch that one yet. Or, we can't touch... Uh, ankle is... Yeah, that one requires guitar, I think. We can't fight that one. Can't reach there yet. Can't reach there yet. Can't reach there yet. It's Arena. That's it. Everything else we have to regress plot. So, uh, I'm gonna fight in the Arena a couple of times to get some more secret signs, I think. How am I doing on apples? Got an Agile apple. Might as well use those. You know what? Ocarina. Oh. Fine. Ocarina. Yeah. So if I remember right, it is due south of Adelaide is the battle arena. I remembered correctly. It, I just passed it. That's the battle arena. However, you actually have to go all the way out here to reach said battle arena. Because you can't land in mountains. Or, you just cast Teleport and go to the battle arena. Really don't understand why they did that, but okay. Sure, cool. So, if you want to stop watching here, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to have a problem with that. Saves 
state. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hit the battle arena. Oh crap, I don't have enough money for the battle arena, that's right. Because I have 12 whole gela. We're going to go back to the desert area and start grinding there. Oddly enough, uh, technically Adelaide is not the closest location, but Surf Village is dead to me. here. Okay. Really? Gremlins. Once more, those are early game enemies. What are they doing here? That's at least a reasonable enemy. Oh, might as well start looking at this now. Lunatic Wand is there. That targets an opponent. I think it's going to cast Confusion. Although I'd really like to know if it's multi-target, but that's fine. Quick store. Can you just give me the Ambrosia, please? Hi. Lunatic Wand. Yep, it's regular Confusion. Okay. I will add that to my notes. Oh, great. Now they're confused. Sweet. Uh. So with this setup, I have a bunch of cables over my keyboard. That's the reason why I'm typing so slow. That is horrible. Horribly typed, to put it mildly, but it's good enough for me to know what I mean. Okay. Let's go. And I killed it. Okay. I might need to actually equip a crappier weapon on Jack, come to think of it. You know what? Let's try equipping a crappier weapon on Jack. Fixter. Oh. Dang it, I had one note activated again, which means that it was doing all sorts of weird commands. Um. There. Or it has 1,000 hit points, so... Okay, that's gonna be a little bit better. No, don't counterattack, dang it. Ah, Trickster, Mystic, and let's find out what the other one of those do. Wherever it is. This dims. I didn't target anyone. So it's, it hits everything. Okay. What does Mystic Distims do? Oh, dang! So, Regenerate is a full heal and full revive for the entire party. And it's going to die now. Um, I did not know that's what that did. Good to know. So, I will take notes on that. Okay. 
That's 5,000. That's enough money to get to the arena. But I'd like to do a little bit more here. I'll basically at least outrun the curse. Um, I need to actually not have typos there like crazy. Trickster. Depend, depend. Okay. So, Mystic Disdims. Apparently that's gonna be my thing for a while. Trickster, defend, defend. I should be able to get off three tricksters now. Oh, I diseased myself. Oh well. So... That should be it. Nope. I miscounted. It's four diseases. The sad part is that uh, you're dead. I mean, that is a sad part, but not what I was going for. Um, the sad part is that there is a mystic... Thing that I can use on the bone in order to be able to do Lucky Shot. I just can't because I never did Saint Centaur. Screw it. I need the money anyway. Everything's gonna die horribly. Really? Oh, something lived. That actually did decent damage to Rudy. That's because Rudy's match resistance is terrible. Okay, we are at an hour. And I still have not seen the enemy I was searching for. Well, one of them. No. Just no. So there is an enemy in here that I specifically wanted to fight. That's not it. Sandstag is an earlier enemy that I don't have to care about, I believe. Let's check. Trickster, drop list, hand stag. Hand stag. No, no, they actually have things. Okay. This must be a pellet swap then. Brutal attack! That was actually fairly decent damage. Given that Slay was defending. What are your stats anyway? Brutal attack on Rudy this time. Definitely physical damage, that's for sure. It has a power up, that's for reference. And stag, 45, 3,000 hit points, 50 MP. It has MP. I will take it. Assuming I get a chance to. That has decent defense, at least. I saw 20 if it's 50 MP. Good. Don't worry, Cecilia, you're gonna do that again and again. Crypter. Give me what I want. Brutal attack on Rudy. Oh no. He only has gobs of hit points left. Whatever shall I do? Sorry. Quickster. Meh. Protect. You're gonna die like that, aren't you? Oh, that's right, I still have Wind Rings equipped. Whoops. Uh, heal up. Okay. 
Oh, just drain the rest of your MP. I don't want you to cast a spell. Never. Thank you, Rudy. There we go. That should be all of its MP. Keep trickstering. Uh, dual cast. Sure. Well, let's try this dual cast thing correctly this time. Maybe it was. Was it Vortex? Vortex? Hold on. Might be High Vortex, High Vortex. We'll find out. And just defend Rudy. It's not gonna live. It's really not gonna live through this. Give me your power apple! No, it's not High Vortex, High Vortex. It might be Vortex, Vortex. I'm trying to remember how to trigger this. Rumble! Okay. This is good enough for the video, I think. Teleport back to Adelaide, and then next video, I will progress plot. So I don't really have much of a choice at this point. I can do plot or arena. Maybe I'll do an arena grind fest first. Yeah, arena grind fest sounds like a good plan. So yeah, um, I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Because I need to record another video today. Bye! Oh, we're at 24 hours, just noticed. Bye.